Hello, my name is Bethany Principe, and I am the MSCP Program Coordinator at the County of San Diego's Department of Parks and Recreation. We are very excited to talk about the Rancho Lilac Preserve Project, and thank you for your interest. Here are some of the topics that I'll be covering in the presentation. I will briefly describe the Rancho Lilac Preserve, and next I will be discussing the reason that we are here today, which is the current county efforts related to the preserve. In this part of the presentation, I will also discuss the current schedule and next steps. There will be many opportunities to stay involved in the project, and I will provide you with information about how to do that. The County of San Diego Department of Parks and Recreation, or DPR, is working in partnership with Sandag and Caltrans on efforts related to the Rancho Lilac Preserve. DPR staff involved in the project are from the DPR divisions, including our Operations Division, our Development Division, and our Resource Management Division. The San Diego Association of Governments, or Sandag, and Caltrans staff are also involved in the project. Rancho Lilac Preserve is an important part of North County's history and biodiversity. The 902 acre preserve was purchased by Caltrans in 2011 as part of a State Route 76 widening project. The property lies within the draft North County Multiple Species Conservation Program Priority Conservation Area. Keys Creek flows through the property on its way to the San Luis Rey River and Pacific Ocean. Over a dozen different vegetation communities or habitat types are found on the preserve, including riparian forests, grasslands, live oak woodlands, and coastal sage scrub. These are home to sensitive plant and animal species, including spadefoot, horned lizards, coastal ca California gnatcatcher, and black-tailed jackrabbits. The history of the preserve, both for cultural and historical significance, is also rich and diverse. There are many cultural resources on site as well as historical buildings. Here is a map of the preserve. The preserve is located within the community of Valley Center and is bisected by Lilac Road, which runs north-south through the property. In 2022, Sandag released a request for proposals, or RFP, to solicit for the development of a preserve-specific resource management plan, and ultimately the transfer of ownership of the property from Caltrans to a selected property manager. Earlier this year, Sandag and the county entered into an agreement related to the Rancho Lilac Preserve. Sandag's RFP process includes two phases. The first phase, which we are currently in, will be completed over two years and will include the development of the Rancho Lilac Preserve Resource Management Plan, or RMP. The RMP will document Rancho Lilac's sensitive biological, cultural, and historic resources and include management strategies to protect the resources in perpetuity. The RMP will also include a public access plan to allow generations of San Diego County residents and visitors to connect with nature in the preserve. A cost funding analysis will also be completed during the first phase to determine the endowment needed to conduct ongoing management and monitoring in perpetuity. After the RMP is finalized, the second phase of the project will begin and entails the agreement of the endowment and transfer of ownership to DPR. Before we discuss the Rancho Lilac Preserve RMP, I would like to take a moment to talk about what we mean by a preserve-specific RMP. RMPs are used to identify the biological, cultural, and historical resources on the preserve and determine the amount or the appropriate management and monitoring strategies to successfully protect, manage, and monitor the preserve's sensitive resources. Biological diversity survey reports, cultural and historical survey and assessment reports, vegetation management plans, and public access plans are all part of the comprehensive preserve-specific resource management plan. The RMP inventory surveys are general species surveys that provide a comprehensive list of the plant and animal species inhabiting the property. This allows DPR to provide an overarching plan for the protection, management, and monitoring of all the site's biological resources. One thing to note is that the biological resources surveys are completed over a full calendar year to ensure that we observe all plant and animal species who live on or use the preserve. 
Part of the RMP will identify invasive plant species control, habitat restoration opportunities and methods, as well as fire management strategies. Cultural and historical resource surveys will be conducted to ensure the proper protection and management strategies of the cultural sites are implemented and the historical resources are managed appropriately. A large part of the development of the RMP will be identifying how to balance passive recreation with this ecologically sensitive area. This will be accomplished through a team of experienced ecologists, biologists, environmental planners, rangers, and landscape architects who provide recreation ecology planning expertise on preserved lands. A public access plan will be developed as part of the RMP. <clears throat> Once resource assessments are conducted to provide all trail options and other amenities such as staging areas, feedback from the stakeholders will be sought to come up with a balanced plan that meets the needs of the community and protects the sensitive resources on site. A cost and funding analysis of the in perpetuity management and monitoring costs will also be completed during the development of the RMP. As I mentioned before, the development of the Rancho Lilac Preserve RMP will be completed within two years. Public engagement will occur throughout the entire project. The inventory surveys and assessments of the biological, cultural, and historical resources are currently underway and will be completed by spring of next year. The vegetation management and public access portions of the RMP will be developed after the surveys and assessments are completed. The cost and funding analysis will also be completed after all information is gathered. We will be developing a project website with key information and updates as this project continues. If you would like to be notified of when the website is up and running, or if you would like to be placed on the email distribution list for notifications about future meetings, please contact me at my email address listed on the slide. There will be an additional site visit to the preserve in the next, um, this year. Please RSVP to me if you would like details on the site, visit date when it's decided and the time and meeting location. Thank you so much for listening to the presentation and we look forward to working with you on this project.